Another case that's particularly interesting involving the cruise lines is I represented a family whose 14-year-old boy had just gotten on a cruise ship. He went and ate some uh, seafood. He had an allergic reaction to the seafood. He then collapsed because he couldn't breathe. They found him, took him to the infirmary. The doctors there intubated him into his stomach instead of into his lungs, and he died. Injuries and death, especially death, that occur on the high seas are governed by a federal statute called Death on the High Seas Act. It provides that if a death occurs more than three miles from shore or outside the territorial waters of a state, there are no pain and suffering damages recoverable. And as you can imagine, in the death of a 14-year-old, there are no economic damages. In Florida, we looked at the 18, late 1800 Constitution for the state of Florida to determine where are the territorial boundaries to the state of Florida. And we determined that in this particular area off of Miami, it was the western edge of the Gulf Stream. Well, the western edge of the Gulf Stream moves every day. So we went further, determined by satellite imagery through an oceanographer that the Gulf Stream on this particular day was 12 miles offshore from the coast of Florida and this incident happened 11.2 miles. So in this particular case, because of the work we did here at Colson Hicks, and this family was able to recover uh, fair compensation for the death of, of their 14-year-old child, if there is such a thing. Contact our lawyers at 305-476-7400 or contact our website at colson.com for more information.